We're going to continue looking at creating a settings activity for your application. We're going to revisit the switch we were looking at in the last tutorial, and we're going to handle this event programmatically. If we go back into the settings activity, we need to set the listener in the onCreate method. So let's scroll down to the end, past the sound effects. We'll, we'll put it here. So we have our music switch and a music switch has a member method set on check changed listener and it's already complaining well it we need to pass in the listener and you would have seen similar errors to radio buttons and buttons so for a switch this is what you need to provide new compound button on check changed listener let's import this class and Android Studio again is helpfully telling us that we need a non-checked changed method passed in. So here it is. Here's our on-checked changed. It has a button view and a value for is checked. So that would be one. That would be zero. Sorry, true and false. I hope by now you're all feeling confident. Whether it's a button or a radio button or a switch, there are very common structures to detecting user events. So we can finally put our own logic here. So this, these are all the steps you need to access what the user is thinking. And we're just going to use a simple if else here. So if it's checked, we're going to use a toast to say music is on. And we're also going to set media electronic state to true in our application class. Otherwise, we're going to assume the user doesn't want any music and we'll set the media state to false. Let's hit save and see if the button is detected by this programmatically. Remember the default for the music is off. So when we go into settings, when we first open the app, it should be set to off. And if we select on, here's the toast. It says we want the music on, so we know that our detection is working, our programmatic detection is working. Let's hit off. That's also working. Let's test to see if our application class can remember our choice. So if we turn this to on, and if we exit, and if we go back into our settings, yeah, it's remembered it. That's great. I know we haven't actually played any sound music yet, but uh, these are the basics and we'll get to playing sound and media in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.